It is the end of an era. Queen Elizabeth II passes away, ending the British monarch's unmatched 70 year reign on the throne. We've all known just one queen. She, she's, she's a past that we've always looked up to. Waves of mourners grieve across the United Kingdom as the world says farewell to the queen. Queen Elizabeth II provided us with the stability and the strength that we needed. Tonight, we look back at the Queen's incredible life and legacy. And it's very late overseas, and huge crowds are still flocking to Buckingham Palace to pay tribute to the Queen, hours after the news broke that she passed on. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Jessica Cartelia. A period of national mourning has begun and is set to last until her funeral. It's expected to take place in 10 days. The Queen's oldest son, Queen Elizabeth II, was the rock on which modern Britain was built. Our country has grown and flourished under her reign. Britain is the great country it is today because of her. Queen Elizabeth came to the throne in 1952. She celebrated her Platinum Jubilee earlier this year. And we have team coverage tonight on the passing of the Queen. Eyewitness News reporter Marcella Bayetto is at Philadelphia International Airport, where a flight from London landed about 90 minutes ago. But we begin with Madeline Wright, who is at a British restaurant in Haddonfield. Madeline? Good evening, Yuki. I spoke with several people today who are either from Britain or their parents were born in Britain. They are shocked and heartbroken. This is the only sovereign I've ever had. The death of Queen Elizabeth brought Sybil Bailey from Cherry Hill to tears. It's like you guys losing JFK when that happened. I mean, I know she was old, but she was in such great health. And so I just was shell shocked. Bailey bought a British flag from English Gardener gift shop to honor the Queen's memory. I just can't imagine England without Queen Elizabeth. People across the Delaware Valley are heartbroken by the Queen's death, but especially those who were born in England, like Ian Whitfield. He owns the restaurant British Chip Shop on Kings Highway in Haddonfield. I'm very sad. Um, you know, I, I think as a a British person, we, we for the longest time we've believed that you know maybe she was going to live forever and she was going to and carry on being the queen forever, but you know, all good things have to come to an end. Queen Elizabeth was a beacon of stability for the UK during good times and bad, from World War II and Brexit to the COVID-19 pandemic. Sarah Matamo, who lives between London and Haddonfield, went for a walk as she dealt with her emotions. Of course, I'm devastated. I love the queen. Absolutely love the queen, as most of us do. So, tell, tell us why you love the queen. She's just been there for everything. She's always there. You know, it's just like a grandmother to the country. For the first time in 70 years, the United Kingdom will now have a king instead of a queen. I hope Charles rules with the dignity and grace of his mother. And back live, you can see the British flag is flying proudly here at the Queen's carriage on King's Highway. The folks I talked to today say what they admired most about Queen Elizabeth II is that she was tireless and that she never stopped working for the well-being of the world. Live in Haddonfield, New Jersey, Madeline Wright, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Jessica. Okay, Madeline, thank you.